Hello, and welcome. Welcome back to Kirby Triple Deluxe. Last time, we abruptly acknowledged the existence of Canvas Curse, and this time, we're going to start a world where the world name doesn't really indicate that much. First of all, trains. Yep, there are Waddle Dee trains that loop around from the background in order to crush you. And also there's lots of stone carrots or something? It's a little bit weird. I'm not gonna judge. Leaf is back from Return to Dreamland. Be a leaf on the wind with this sharp ability. Spin up a torrent of dancing leaves to slice and dice or activate your guard and hey, where'd you go? Sort of similar to Archer, Leaf has a ability where it can just ignore damage. But I'm not sure if it's quite as immune as the Archer ability is. I guess we'll find out. Nope, not quite. And so Kirby was run over by a train. I think Archer could survive that. Leaf is a pretty fun ability. It kind of... At least they kept Leaf, even though they cut water. Which is kind of a bummer. Sneaky hidden pineapple. Water was pretty cool. I liked water. And you're one of those bomb enemies. That was descriptive and true. Fun with cannons. Which cannon should you go into? Probably the one that's pointed at the one up. If I had to guess. Sneaky sneaky, also very rude. I'm glad that I am somehow remembering some of these annoying things. Cause seriously, that's not a very nice collectible. Well, it isn't the collectible, it just leads to the collectible. But you know what I mean. Do you have the ability to pay slight attention to your surroundings? Congratulations, you've earned a sunstone. And for the record, there's pretty much no reason to go back in the foreground, because there's nothing you really missed. I could probably make this section a lot easier by taking rock. Darn it. Kirby, no! Ah. But I have to see just how effective cardboard can be. Oh. Guess it can't block trains. You learn something new every day. Sometimes it's about trains, sometimes it's not. Can a rock block a train? Or perhaps a muscular man? Well, I didn't land on the tracks, so... Nope. Trains defeat everything. If only the final boss used trains against Kirby, my archery tactics wouldn't work. Fortunately, they do not. That was just dumb. I panicked, okay? 
You might notice those blocks. Well, that's because you might also notice these blocks. And they make stuff happen over the yonder. They make pizza happen, and a rare keychain. Gonna punch that train right out of the rails. Yeah. It's gonna work. Nothing sneaky down here. You think they're gonna pull that same thing twice? They might. Hmm. So all these Waddle Dee trains seem to be hauling lumber. Perhaps it's the lumber that Waddle Dees were previously seen harvesting. Kirby doesn't care about the lumber industry, though. Because he will consume all. Yup. Kirby likes to eat trains. The one thing trains can't stop is Kirby's hypernova. And yes, it's a good idea to eat all of these trains. Trust me on this one. Oh, also, uh, radishes. We're, we're just gonna, like, take a, a bizarre spin on Mario 2 here. Or Doki Doki Panic, if you prefer. That's a lady radish. It makes a different noise. Don't ask me why. I don't know how radishes work. Gotta eat every train. They stop coming back if you eat them. It's not like there's an endless supply of them. But the main reason you want to eat every train is because of this. Which is hiding on one of them. And so... Hmm, a key door. Well, I wonder where the key could be. Oh. That was a boring solution. Unnecessary Waddle Dee suffering complete. That's a lie, it's never complete. So that's all the sunstones. But there's still more fun with radishes to be had. It's time for a hypernova boss fight. Birds with bow ties. Who are weak to radishes. I got nothing. This is just a thing that's happening. Don't try to explain it. They try to get tricky, but they suck, so whatever. Alright, final bird. Ah, you were over there. There we go. Birdemic solved. I do like that you have to eat the gold hair. Like, what happens if you swallow that? If Kirby swallowed the gold door, what would happen? I don't know. But I do know that I just succeeded. So that's different, perhaps. The full version of Kirby's dance. By the way, UFO shows up here? But it's not actually in the game. Hey, Samira, how you doing? That's a silly keychain. Kirby on the phone keychain. Chef Kirby. His previous final smash, which is now no longer his final smash. So sad. His new one is better, like, in terms of, like, usefulness, but cook. Anyway. 
Let's continue this old odyssey that it supposedly is being. I mean, I, I guess this is old stuff? I don't, I don't know. Rocks are old. This is made out of rocks. Speaking of rocks, I can uppercut with them. I guess if we had ignored the bonus stages, that would have been our first encounter with Fighter. Let's use Needle for a bit, why not? Fight me! Oh, no, don't do it that way. Wow, okay, Needle's stupid. I have dis I have determined this from like five seconds of using it. Okay, so this is the stage where rocks happen. Rocks are sentient and psychic beings that can sense your presence in the foreground and have a strong desire to crush all living things. Everybody knows that. But now you get the proof. Oh, rocks also hate the background, but only if you're in it. Ah! Stupid giant Kabu sandcastle man, whatever you are. Yeah. I don't know how these rocks know when to strike. I mean, like, at least the giant trees were being cut specifically by Waddle Dees. The rocks just have a mind of their own. Or Kirby is the master of coincidence. Not coincidence in his favor, mind you. Sure, why not? The goal is not to get crushed. That is self-explanatory, but it will destroy your key. Oh, also, don't... That, that thing is sneaky. And if you tilt too much, you fall off and you can't get back up here. Still pretty rude. Stop cleaning this very small precipice. Surely you have better things to do with your life. Which I ended. But that's neither here nor there. Let's go back to stone. Sometimes I feel like Kirby games are best played by switching powers very often. Can these crush these guys? No, they just crumble. Of course not. Oh hey, it's Meta Knight, Bandana Waddle D, and King DDD with his face in a wall. Okay. I enjoy the stone power. This looks like a split path, except you can just, like, you know, change your mind. So it's not. Ah! Anyway. Hey. Some facial hair for me. I mean, a power drink, courtesy of a facially haired man. Hmm. Why not? Oh, hey, Bunkers. How you doing, buddy? In the time it takes me to defeat you, you can- you will have cleared helper to hero mode. Even though you're fighting me at the same time. Because Bonkers is like that. And now... Hammer! A giant hammer, on loan from the king himself. Pound boulders into dust, or knock stakes flat into the ground. Send out a fiery burst with a special technique, the decisive hammer flip. 
Hiya! Hammer is like it has been before. Which means that it's really good. And very powerful. And also Pink's favorite ability for obvious reasons. If you know Pink at all, it's obvious anyway. Now it's time to tip the rocks on our own. Also pineapples. Though it's always time for pineapples if you so choose. I don't believe in pineapple regulations. Anything sneaky up here? No. However, you, there is that bit of sneakiness. Don't just knock over every pillar you see right away, or else you won't get this. Oh dear. We have a problem. I missed the middle one. Hmm. Well, that'll require a little bit of more video editing on my part, I suppose, but... I will find it. Oh, hey! I succeeded fully twice in a row. That makes up for missing the sunstone, probably. Right? Right? That's how it works. Kirby can dance even when encumbered by a large hammer. Oh man, a melon. And whatever that is. And a dead Kirby. <laughs> Dead Kirby only has soul hearts. He can't have regular heart containers. Makes the game kind of harder. That's a joke. Alright, let's find that other sunstone. Did I seriously just miss this? Let's show this off on the boss, why not? We can get hammered back that way. So it works out. Win-win. Wom wom scree! Microphone check. One, two. Build up your power to crank up the volume. Kirby's three-song setlist is more than enough to rock the house. Basically press the button and then mash on the third one.
Still not as great as the sound effects it has in Superstar, but that's probably impossible. Succeeding three times in a row. Well, that one's a little bit closer to not succeeding than usual, but hey. Oh hey, it's one of those things. Those guys are silly looking. Anyway, now let's do stage three. Oh no, it's one of those gimmicks that's not going to show up again, probably. Or at least when it does. What I'm getting at is that sometimes games have a problem with only using a gimmick a few times and then it goes away. Also, holding this thing steady is a little bit awkward. Which is what the reset tilt button is for, but... Honestly, I can't remember if those... Like, shuffling... Vanishing blocks is a thing that happens later in the game again. Or if this is the only time that it ever happens. I know Hammer is like super amazing, but I want to change it up at least a little bit. But if the game doesn't want me to have Cutter, then I won't. There's a sneaky, sneaky heat chain over here. And a bear. And here we have another layer gimmick. This is an extremely wide pole of some sort. Extremely wide electrified death pole, I should say. You gotta use it to hit the bombs in the the bomb blocks in the other layer in order to open up the path in the layer that you were on. And also to destroy that cannon. Because nobody likes cannons. And they don't deserve to live. If they do indeed live. Like that bucket thing that shot... Bucket thing? No. Helmet thing. Helmets, buckets, what's the difference? Like that helmet thing that shot the other layer. These things also have a limited time, but I guess this section was short enough that it didn't get anywhere close to- there we go. It's flashing. Which means that it's about to go away, but we'd have to go through the door anyway, so there's no point. I haven't had ice in a while. It's a really fun ability. You can just skate on through. Ice is also pretty good at sliding down slopes, like rock is, so... 
Excuse me, stone. Stone sounds much more sophisticated than rock. Sneakiness. Oh, hey. The reason I was like, oh hey, it's this guy, when his keychain showed up, is because I knew that he was also in this game. That sunstone's kinda easy to miss, because you have to... Especially if you're rock, or stone, I keep saying rock. Because you will slide down these slopes pretty fast, and it's easy to miss that. Thankfully, I saw it. I wouldn't want to have missed two sunstones in one video. That would be shameful. Oh, I ate something by accident. No, 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 no. Well, there's the problem with slipping. Slipperiness. Wow, this is a really obvious door. Except you actually have to go in through here, so I guess there's something to it. Ah, oh, whatever. It's one of these again, except I need to actually get fire from outside of the room. Fair enough, I think. This one's a little bit more puzzly. A little. Well, first you have to have it over here so that it can do that. Then you have to get it over here. Then it has to be lined up over here to pick up the spark. And lastly... Yep. A bit harder than the first instance of that. There are still going to be more of those. And there's the last sunstone for this level. If you really want, you can just go through an entire level by mashing that attack, I guess. It's not very effective, but it sometimes sort of works, kind of. Nothing over here. This is just the end of the stage. Can we succeed every instance of the bonus game in this video? Yes, actually. Weird. I guess I'm learning. Weird. I already have one of those, which is what the 2KC meant, but okay. Next time on Kirby Triple Deluxe, Hillfire Peaks, apparently. What does this have to do with oldness? We've got trains, rocks, caves, fire and ice. I don't see what the theme is here. 